his way. Amen. For all those of us, we have one of those first timers here tonight. I don't know if it's your first time being here. We want to welcome you. Just give him a great big hand. All the here. We want you to open it up. So I'm free in Jesus tonight. If you've been born again, you're free in Jesus. Amen. So we love you. We appreciate you. Let's worship him tonight. Let's give him our best. Amen. Here he's blessed us this whole year. We're, we're here. We're in health. We're breathing. We can see. We can hear. Let's bless him tonight. Let's worship him and praise him with everything we got. Amen. Amen.
get God. Somebody want to say, testify for Jesus. Amen. Surely he's been good to you this year. Surely and through all of 2023, Jesus has barely, I'm talking about he's been very, very good to his people. He's been good to the lost, amen. He's been good to the trucker. He's been good to every one of us, amen. Why? Because we're still alive, we're moving. Hallelujah, we're still breathing. And here we are to die, amen. Just a few hours left of 20. 23, heaven. What has Jesus done for you? Lord to God, I call him Jesus. I don't know about anybody else. Lord God, some may call him the Father. And some may call him the Son. They may even say, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. But I call him Jesus. Why? Because he is. He's the one that loves the shores of Galilee. Lord, he'll just sit past out there and raise the dead. Lord, he ain't in a tomb. I said, he ain't in a tomb. There's a lie. Lord, we're still with the honor. Adultery. Adultery. Hallelujah. Before we came over here, we lot us got a lot of adultery. Amen. They put everything else before God. But I'm here to tell you, I don't want nothing between me and God. I just want a one-on-one relationship. Look like that when I call on him, Brother Josh, he don't have to go around. They ain't nothing in the way. Look like that my God and me. Look like when I say Jesus, he's and that's my child. That's the way I feel, church. There's so much. You think about it. Even the children of Israel, things that they've done, they got everything else they wanted to. They didn't try to sacrifice to get to God. You know what? That would kind of stink in the nostrils of God. Why? Because it wasn't their first. He wasn't first in their life. Hey Amen. That's why they came and stink in the nostrils of God. Yes. Lord God, I'm talking about Jesus came that we could have life and have it more than And he's blessed us, church. Right. I'm talking about he's blessed us abundantly. Hey Amen. Lord God, we may all look the same. We may not all feel the same. Lord God, when I'm talking about we serve a God that has blessed us. Lord God, that has said that I have set you free. The Bible says
God when he saved me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Ghost, hallelujah, that God can be his blood. Don't worry about what her hair looks like. Don't worry about if her clothes come untucked. Hallelujah, God knows how to keep us in peace and in order. Amen.
to serve the true and living God. You know, all he wants to do is get right in the presence of where we're at. That's all he wants for the march to be in our presence. Begin habits. He wants our praise. So when we praise him, he dwells in our praise. Amen. And a lot of times, and I know the Bible says we could, if there's any sick, we can call for the elders of the church. They can lay hands on you. You could be healed, amen. If they have committed any sins or whatever, they shall be forgiven. That's the Bible. It's like what Brother Jack said. But all at the same time, if we begin to praise him, do you know we can be healed in praise? Yeah. We can be delivered in praise. Yeah. I'm talking about spirits have to flee. They can't stay around with the boat when his presence move in. If we could create an atmosphere with Josh, I'm talking about just praise. It don't matter what each other look like. What I'm talking about what we smell like. Just begin to praise him. The Bible says in 150 Psalms, he said, let everything, let everything that have breath, he said to praise ye the Lord. You understand, I think it's uh, Psalms 146 and 147, the last of the five chapters of Psalms, 146, 47, whichever it starts out, it'll start out in, the, in that chapter, praise you the Lord, and it'll end up praise you the Lord in every one of those last five chapters in the book of Psalms. So that tells me something, that we need to be praising him, and a lot of people say, well, you just get too radical about praising God. I want to get plot crazy. I want to get plot dramatic. I talk about all of my mind of what I want to do, and start praising Jesus and create an atmosphere. You know, when we create an atmosphere, God's big enough to fill this entire building that we're in. I'm talking about burst these windows down. It'll be like on the day of Pentecost. You know what happened? There was a second sister pact that came from heaven. And you know what it was? It was the sound as of the rushing mighty wind. And you know what it done with the Joshua? It filled the house where they were sitting. It filled the house. And you know what happened? So we can still create an atmosphere. I don't believe when them 120 gathered in that upper room. Now I'm not going to be, they want to forget the stories. Brother Mark, there's a part about their father's business. What was they up there? They was waiting on the promise of the Father. Jesus said that he wasn't going to leave them comfortless. He said, I'm going away, but boys, I'm going to send you a comforter back. He said, go into Jerusalem and tarry. Until what? But tarry and what? Just going over there. All right. How you doing today? I had a pretty good. No. They were there, I believe, both Josh. Uh, about their father's business, yeah. uh, praying, seeking God, praising Him. Maybe some, I don't know, maybe somebody got a song start. Right. But you know what happened when they got that one mind, that one accord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's where it's at when we get one mind and one accord. Leave everything else, a lot of people don't like this when you say it, but leave everything else outside. Right. Right. Everyone else has got problems for flesh. Right. Come on. Yeah. Leave those things out there. Right. And let's begin to worship God. Right. And you watch God begin to deliver our minds. Come on. Heal our bodies. Yes. Heal our spirit. Yes. Come on. I'm talking about, I want to create an atmosphere. Amen. People say, well, I'm not waiting on that big ball to drop. I'm waiting on the Holy Ghost to drop. Amen. I'm talking about, I want to drop.
Thank you, Amen. This year coming up, when I make vows or whatever. 
whatever it may be. I want to follow through. Amen. Because the Bible says it's better for God not even make a vow if you can't keep it. But God, it's time for us to show, oh God, I promise. If you'll do this, Lord, I, I'll give the Holy Ghost right now. But he said, we'll go and we'll pray. Lord, I, I promise, Lord, you work this out, I'll do this. But then we don't hold to what we say. It's better for us not even make promises if we can't. Hallelujah. I feel the press of God in here. Amen. I'm talking about the press of the mighty God. Yes. You know what? Uh, uh, there's times it's just like we can't even take correction. Come on. It's sad. Yeah, come on. You know what that tells me? You don't know who your daddy is. Come on. If you can't receive it, we don't know who he is. That's the Bible. Yeah. I don't know me. Yeah. So I want to praise him in an atmosphere. Said, so, well, Pastor, it's here just a little bit ago. It wasn't for me. He was here, but he wasn't for me. And what I feel right here, he's still here. He's still here. But when, look here, when we hear the songs, and a lot of people say, well, I'm in just for a song. The word is what keeps us, amen, Come the Holy Ghost. Come on. But when we sing and we're creating an atmosphere for him to come down in, yeah. you know what, really, we're, pla we're breaking up that foul of ground. Why are we breaking up the foul ground? Well, you just take and throw the seed on top of that dry ground. It just, it can't do nothing. They won't have no room for the mud. We can just sometimes, it's, the Bible's not Jesus said. Some fall among thorns, and throw thistles, and it's, it's among rocks. Some fell upon stony ground. And even though it did come up, but then there was a heat that came. In other words, there was a trial that came. Yeah. There was a battle that came, and it got very hot, and then it died. It went to the way. It couldn't stand. Why? Because we haven't broke up our foul of bread. Yeah. Come on. The man of God, how the rest is going? Talk to Jesus. He's wanting us to get a hold of what he's wanting to do in our lives. Because I love each other, and I do. I want to praise him every day. They start, Hunter comes across that keyboard, they, they, dying on the organ, Josh, every one of you comes across those, we should be ready to just praise him. Yes. How many's ready? Come on. I'm going to get praise him. Well, we got some more hours. It's only seven, we got five more. <laughs> oh, Pastor, you want to wire side over? What are you going to do when you get on the other side? I know we're going to be in a glorified body, but. But he can make us take it right here. How bad do we want it? How much do we love him? Do we really love him? We stand up and say, oh, I love Jesus. Do we really love him? Come on. We'll run the ball games and everything else and scream for hours. Strain our voice out. They come to church. I can't say. I'm going to strain mine for Jesus. The answer somebody says, I'm going to do my best. You may, you may hear me swim a little bit, but I'm going to do my best. He helped me. Come on. Yeah. I've served to all lost and had me not. Amen. But then the, in that service, but then the next night in revival, get right back up. The Lord just bless you. You take back off the answers today. Who wants to be next to say and praise for God? Testify. Let's get this going. You could be the very king. Or this song, she passed that one night years ago. She said, sometimes we're the very key. It goes in there and just, it opens. You could be the very one. I could say it here all night, test time, preach. But you could be the very key that God just yeah. you up the door. And that I'm talking about it fall in this place and everybody's life changed. Who's next? Lori, I want to say something else today. <coughs> I was building the fire. And uh, Bo goes out and cuts it up small enough to where I can have it to put in there. And I kept feeding it and kept feeding it. We'd all bring a stick of wood. Can you imagine? I've seen the I've seen God in the building like a crowd. I mean, you see it when we zip all, all worshiping together. And and as I fed that, and I thought about how he busted that up. And and the word and stuff's been busted up. We all ought to have it's been it's been Larry has preached it where we can all have a piece of wood. It's all been busted up and we should all have something. And I thank and praise him in 2024. I want to do more for God. Yes. I don't want to stay, I don't want to sit on my seat. I want to worship him and praise him. Yes. And even when we don't feel it, like you said, if we would move out, if we would move out, God would bring the atmosphere and we could all just have, if you just have a stick of kill and put it on the fire, the fire keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yes. We can all have an atmosphere yeah. to praise God and we 
Amen. 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 And as I thought about it today, about done his part. He went and got it, busted it up. It was small enough I could handle it, put it in the fire. We all need to put our wood on the fire. Amen. 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 Who's got another piece of wood?
your heart for him. But I thank God that he's been so good to me. He's been so kind. And I just thank him. And I, I don't ever want to go back. And I was singing that song. I don't ever want to go back to the way it used to be. I don't. I need God more. I want to do more. That seems to be what most people are saying tonight. But I do. I want to do more for him. I want to be what he has me to be. I want to be humble. I want to be everything he wants me to be. That's what I want him to be. I've been thinking about holiness. I know that holiness is right outside. I know there's a way. But my heart inside, I want my heart to be right. Fix my heart, Lord. Yes. Create in me a clean heart, Lord. That's not a sinner's prayer. I think about that every day. We should be saying, God, I'll create in me a clean heart. Right. Renew a right spirit in me this morning, Lord. I know his mercy's new every morning. I know it is. But we got to pray and we got to ask him these things. Yeah. Make sure we get it under the blood. And I just thank him and I praise him for all he's done for me and being so good to me. I love him and I thank him. Thank you. Thank you.
preachers that up one time. That's true. We're going to fall. But you know that we're going to need to stay down. Because we have. We have someone that will steer closer to the brother. He said he'd never leave us. No matter what we face in life. No matter how far we think we win. Or how far that we're away from God. He's still right there. All we got to do is just grab one of his hand. Changing your hand. Because his hand, he don't change for nobody. He ain't going to change to fit my needs. He ain't going to change to fit your needs.
and there was a stretched out voice for her to try anyway.
please God and keep us if we're committed to God. You know we've got to be committed to God for we can keep us. And I thank God tonight that He has given us the desire to love and praise and to worship Him. That's what I go to church for, aren't you? To praise and worship God. I was thinking, you know how in New York there's probably there's probably tens and thousands of people there uh, waiting on the ball to drop at me and that. What if God wants us to drop? What if God will say this is when I'm coming back? You know, what to be a mess? I'd rather be in the house of God. What you? I want God to come down and bless us because we all need God, don't we? I really, I really appreciate the Lord for what He does for me, what He's doing, and what He's going to do. And I hear Pastor talking about on praise, and I was uh, back in the hollow the other day, and I was uh, praying, and, and God dropped it in my spirit. On the, on the power of praise. I believe I preached that message. I, it might have been here. I don't know. But anyway, God brought that back to my spirit. And I began to pray. And I said, Lord, how how is it that we're missing that revelation on the praise part? We're missing the some words. Or God will continue to be a bring it back up to us, you know. And I got to think of, you know, how that, how that a lot of times that we want God to move. We ask God to move. How many need God to move for? I need God to move for me, don't you? And I begin to thank Sister Diane how that we want God to move. And God is a mover for His people. I really believe that He is. Uh, because He woke us all up this morning, didn't He? He's a, he's a mover for us, but we ain't a mover for Him. And uh, I got to thinking, you know, back how that we talked a lot about the meeting back in 90. Back in the 90s, and how that God was a, a pouring out the Spirit, people being healed, a, a people being delivered from demons and everything else. Uh, it's because people had a desire, uh, but when they got to the house of God, they weren't looking over uh, at their neighbor and see what they were doing or what they had on. Uh, but they come to church to praise God, and I begin to think of the Lord. Uh, but we're missing this revelation of some way or another uh, that we're missing the power that's in praise. A uh, uh, pastor tonight, if we can get the revelation uh, of the, uh, the, uh, uh, praise, what would God do in our life? Uh, it's no telling what God would do uh, if we would just come out to the house of God uh, and turn our back on everything and say, Lord, uh, I want to give you a praise tonight. Uh, but we're afraid that somebody's going to laugh at us uh, or somebody's going to talk about us. Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, we got the revelation uh, of the power that's in praise. Uh, I begin to go back into the, uh, my mind back into the Word of God. Uh, when they come again and begin uh, to march around that Jerry Cole wall, uh, they want to find the bigger and the complainer. Uh, they want to look at you and say, uh, you ain't looking like I am. Uh, God ain't going to move for you. Uh, you ain't dressed like I am. Uh, but they had one thing in common. Uh, their mind was on God. Uh, and God began to move. Uh, children that's lost going to hell and we're worried about what our neighbor looks like we're wondering about what they're going to say to us. I ain't worried about what they're going to say but because I've done found in the word. If God be for me, who can be against me? But just tonight we're missing the revelation of praise. That's just all the R2. We're missing it. Somewhere along the line, we're missing it. But I believe tonight that God has got a people that's going to praise Him, don't you? Uh, how many believe that? I believe that God uh, has got a church that's going to praise Him no matter what the devils are doing, uh, but no matter what the worlds are saying, uh, but what the worlds are doing. I come to praise God in you. Uh, I come to lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, I come to say, Lord, uh, I turn that wall down. Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, but we need to do some praising. Uh, if God tells you to roll in the floor, uh, don't roll in the floor. Uh, Alive forevermore. Yes. He woke me up. I'm on a servant of dead God. 
I'm not a servant of God that's in the tomb. I'm a servant of God uh, that's on the throne that they're looking down at you and I uh, saying you're missing the revelation of praise. Uh, well, you're missing it. Uh, well, we got the revelation, Mother Jeff, of who he is. Uh, well, but do we have the revelation of his love? Uh, but do we have the revelation uh, in the, uh, of the power of praise? In the book of Psalms, it's full of praise. It's handed. We wonder why God blessed David so much. When David brought the ark into the city, uh, uh, he went to dance before God with all his mind. Uh, he wasn't uh, worried about what the enemy was doing. Uh, he had one thing on his mind, uh, and that was to praise and worship God. Uh, and church tonight, we've got to get this revelation of the power of praise. Amen. Do you love him? Give him a hand, would you? <laughs> Pray for me. Last time I was supposed to preach, I couldn't even preach. My neck I had a sore throat, and my throat was so sore and raw. And I was telling my wife, coming down, I said, I've been taking some apple seltzers the last two days. Seemed like the devil just tried every time I got to go and preach, he fights me with my throat being sore. But you know what? He's not going to defeat me tonight. Before I get done, I may be a squeaking like a mouse. But listen, but the devil's going to know that God is in the house. Thank you. I'm going to tell you, we can't take a back seat. That's what the devil tell us what to do. But we've got to obey God and do what God says to do. How many believe that? How many believe that God is big enough but to take care of the problem? He's a mighty big God. Paul said, my soul does magnify the Lord. Ain't God good to us? He's good to me. I'd be afraid not to praise my God because of what he's done. He saved my son and called him into the ministry. And that's enough for me to praise God throughout 24. But what a God that we serve the church tonight. If you want God to move, I begin to praise God. I'm going to tell you something. I promise you that God will move for you if you'll just praise him. If we can get this revelation of uh, praise, it's no telling what God to do for us, brother. Right. Brother, he's able to do it, ain't he? Yes. God is real. I love him tonight, and I appreciate him. Everybody looks good. I hope tonight that you get blessed. I'm going to tell you, God has given me a word to preach. And I'm going to give it everything that I got. I want the devil to know one thing. That God is still your God, ain't he? He's still God. Whether I feel a goosebump or not, he's still God. I praise him because he's real. And he's alive forevermore. Yes. I praise him. If you have your Bible, turn with me to Isaiah 59. This is a message that God laid on my heart. The preach I had. I got another or two, but this is the one I I really been praying about. God wants me to, to go with it. So this is the one I'm going to give you tonight. When you have it, say amen. amen. <laughs> All right. Isaiah 59 and verse 1. <laughs> and the Bible says this. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short that he cannot save neither is his ear heavy that he cannot hear but your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear for your hands are defiled with blood and your finger with iniquity your lips have spoken lies your tongue has muttered perverseness none call for justice nor any plead for truth they trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cartilage eggs and weave the spider web. He that eateth of their egg die, and that which is crushed uh, breaketh out into a viper. Their web shall not become garment, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the acts of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasted in destruction or in their path. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their going. They have made their crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. 
Therefore is judgment far from us, neither does justice overtake us. We wait for light, but have obscurity of brightness, but we walk in darkness. Thank God. You can be seated if you want. Give the Lord a hand clap. But I want us to back up to verse 5. And the Bible says that they have hatched cartridge eggs. And this is where I want to preach to you for just a little while, bear with me. And, and we, the spider web. And uh, God has gave, God has dropped in my spirit on the spider web. And, uh, and I want to use just for a subject tonight on the web. And the web, the web means something that traps or entangles. Something that traps or entangles a web. And I thought, you know, uh, how that <coughs> a lot of times that, that, that you see a, a spider web and it's there for a purpose. And uh, I thought, you know, I am very, very afraid of spiders. I'm more afraid of a spider than I am a snake. I'd rather have a snake in the house than I would a spider. You might say you're crazy. I know what they can do. I've seen the after effects of what a spider can do. And I thought, you know, uh, as as I was God was dealing with me on this message and how that how that a web is something that will trap or entangle you. And uh, I begin to think how that uh, a lot of times that we uh, uh, we we'll let the devil trap us, won't we? Have you ever been trapped by the devil? I'll be the first to raise my hand and say, I've been in a way before, but I thank God that he made me free one day. For the death, uh, that he come and he made me free. And I thank him, don't you, uh, because of his blood, uh, because of his mercy. And I begin to wonder, you know, uh, and I begin to think, you know, about that web and how that, uh, how that that spider, uh, he'll build that web. And there's a lot of different ways that they do it. Uh, and I thought, you know, when we was just kids and growing up at home, uh, I don't know if Brady can remember this or not, he might, uh, but we had a web one time, uh, it was kind of in the corner of the house, it was a big old thing, uh, uh, Brother George, it was probably big as uh, maybe a 20 by 20, uh, and we would used to catch uh, little flies, uh, and we used to catch them, and we used to throw them in that web, uh, and they would be just for a matter of seconds, uh, and then when that got in that web, and it began to move a little bit, uh, it moved slow enough, uh, and then when it shook that web, that spider would run out and get I, I take it back in the web. And I begin to I begin to realize, you know, that's what the devil's doing to a lot of uh, folk today. And when we get down and out, and we get in a place to work, and that we're not moving it quick enough to get out of the thing. And I begin to think how that we used to catch maybe a cricket. And Brother Larry, there used to be a, a you know how big a cricket is. They're a lot bigger than a fly. And we used to take those cricket and we would turn one of the legs off because uh, and so they couldn't get out. Uh, and we would throw it in that web. Uh, and we put that spider all the time. Uh, and that spider would come out. Uh, and when he seen that that creature was as big as he was, uh, he didn't know what he would do. Uh, he could have grabbed that brother Jeff and drag him back in the hole. Uh, he would go around it. Uh, he would make the spin around it and around it. Uh, until he wrapped it up to turn in the web. Uh, and then he couldn't get loose. Uh, and I'm going to tell you today, uh, that the devil was Trying, huh? They're loosen up. Huh? He's just trying to get us every one huh? wrapped up. Huh? Of where we won't praise God. Huh? Of where we won't worship our God. Huh? I'm going to tell you huh? that the devil's got a way. Huh? And he's just trying to get you and I huh? in this thing. Huh? He's just trying to get us in it. Huh? Under where we can't be. Huh? Afraid to worship God. Huh? I'm going to thank my God tonight. Huh? The Bible said, Who the Son huh? is made free is free indeed. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And how that spider, I was thinking, you know, a lot of times, 
I go up in the mountain and I go to pray in a certain time of the year. And these spiders, they are very, very bad. And I begin to see how that, how that went. It would be Brother George, maybe out in the middle of the trail where you're going to walk. And when you can't see it, or you'll walk right into it. And they get right in your face. Have you ever done that? I think a lot of them, some of them are different made. Some of them may feel pretty. And some of them are just a way. And they were really, really sticky. Have you ever been in a sticky way? I'm going to tell you. That the devil's are trying every way that he can. Let me give you an eye in his way. And I begin to thank God. How can I not see this way? You know why I couldn't see it? Because he was in a shady place. Yes. He was in a place where I couldn't see it, Brother George. And I begin to think a certain time of the day, the sun would shine in there. And that way it would stick out just like a sore thumb. But you could see it for a mile away. And you would not walk into that thing. And do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why we got to have God. That's why we got to have the Spirit of God in us. But to lead us and guide us in the all truth of His Word. And I begin to wonder how sometimes that that web is in a dark place and you can't see it. Oh, what does the Bible say? That men are of darkness, but rather than light, but because of the light revealed of what's in front of us. And I got to think, if I said that web, when the sun is shining on, you can see it. And not only that, not only the sun, I'm talking about the S U N. I bet we got to have that S O N in our life to see what the devil is doing. And not only that, but I got to watch it. And I got to realize on a good a duty, a heavy morning to do, you can see every spider web that they are in that now. Because that do, I would get on that thing. And you can see it. How many know what water represents? What water represents the Spirit of God. That's why we got with a hand of the Spirit of God. And we can see what the devil's got placed out there. And we got you and I. And what happened to Santa? He got in the way of Brother Jim. Let me call. He got to look over at the wrong thing. I'm going to tell you something now. But we're moving by what we see. But we're moving by what we see. Let's see ya. And the devil don't want you and I but to see the word of God. He wants us to walk in the flesh so that we will not be pleasing to God. Come on. The Bible said I was in the world is the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of life. He didn't know the Father but of the world. And I got to wonder, and I said, Lord, this sweat, well, sometimes we get in it, and we got to get out of it quick. Because if we don't, the devil's going to overtake us, ain't he? I believe that for sure. But Samson, he got in the way that he couldn't get out. And I got to think of the day. I said, Lord, help us to keep moving. And my wife was a testify not moving the other night. And I got a hold of that. And Brother Jeff, the Santa did sit down and give up. But no, sir, we're too easy to give up. If God don't move tonight, we're ready to stay home until tomorrow night. But we got to move. And God made us free. And He wants us to be free indeed. But what did Santa do? The Santa did go up there and sit down. He said, I quit. I don't have no strength left. They done put my eyes out. No, sir. Santa kept a moving. He kept going around and around. He was getting out the way that he was in. And the devil had him in a place that he thought. And Brother Larry that he would never get out. But well, thank God tonight, if we'll move, that God will deliver. But well, we got to move, don't we? How many believe tonight? We've got to keep moving. Well, what are you talking about, preacher? I'm not talking about well, when you find the power of hell. But well, you still got to go to church. Well, he said, no, we're going to help you. 
It's going to cause you uh, to be wrapped up tighter and tighter. Uh, and the first thing you know uh, is you're going to look around uh, and you don't have no more joy. Uh, and you don't have no peace. Uh, and you don't know uh, where God's at. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, uh, we've got to keep moving. Uh, we've got to keep going around uh, and around. Uh, if I don't feel God today, uh, I'm going back tomorrow. Uh, if I don't feel it tomorrow, uh, I'm going back to this service. Uh, but we've got to keep praying. Uh, we're reading our Bibles. We're going out to the house of God to get a word. Yes, come on. He didn't give up. He kept on going around and around. Yes, he did. Around and around. Yes, he was, he was blind, but thank God, Amen. God was a talking to him in the Holy Ghost. He was a talking to him in the spirit. As long as I can hear God in the spirit, I know I'm going to be a conqueror, don't you? I begin to think of how they went Samson. He began to feel the move of God coming back into his life. He knew that God was going to deliver him. The church did not hold on. But don't let the devil cause you to give up. Keep a kicking. Keep a trying. And God will deliver. And God's going to come and for his church and that's a standing up on the word I'm going to tell you something tonight I said now ain't going to help you it's going to cause you to come up short but what's going to help us is to get where the spirit of the Lord is now let us pray for us the church listen we all was born in the sin and they ain't a one of us that's not going to make it but we can make it all but do it by the grace of God the grace will help us all let me get to the other side. If God will ever watch us, he'll do it again. I'm going to tell you something now. That my God is real. He's alive. He's not a dead God. He's a God that we heal. He's a God that delivers. But we've got to keep moving. We can't let that. Come on, brother. We can't quit, brother. We've got to keep it going. We're going to let the devil know that we ain't going to give up. I ain't giving up for you. I'll tell you sometimes, but when I go to pray, it seems like God is a million miles away. And the devil is saying, ain't no need to pray no more. That's a lie. That's all. And the Bible said that me and I can always pray and not think. But we got to resist the devil. How can we resist him? But by the word of God. But we got to have the word to fight the devil with. Because he's like an old spider. He's going to try in every way that he can to get us every one entangled in the wind. Some of them spiders, they'll get right in the middle of the wind. I've seen them right in the middle. And then you got some that will get in a tunnel or they'll get in a crack or something and they'll stay right there. They'll lay down they won't move for hours and hours until they get something in that way. And the devil ain't in no hurry to get you and I. If they can get you and I off of the track, have the word of God. He said back saying, I'm about to get him now. But listen, that's why that we got to have the word. The priest goes in this end time. And David said the word. It was a light unto my feet. It was a lamp unto my path. Now listen, we got to have the word. In the end time that we're at now, if we ain't got the word, we'll never defeat the devil. It's going to take something to keep us in track with God. I don't want to be bound down in a way to you where I can't be used to God. <coughs> that old spider, he, he's, he's very, very cunning in what he does. He's very, very smart. He don't get in a hurry. You'll never see one running all over the ground trying to catch something. He'll build his web and he'll lay back. And he'll stay right there for days. But he knows one thing. If he can hold out, he's going to come out with something. I'm going to tell you, we got to hold on to God. What else are they to turn back to? And they ain't nothing to turn back to. And they ain't nothing back there that I want to you. The mind, the mind's a 
dead. Now my God is on my side. Now I'm going to let you. But do I ever get down? Yes, I get down. I'm just like everybody else. But listen, we got to keep moving. We got to keep a kicking. We got to keep a clawing. We going to come out of this thing. I'm a coming out with victory. I'm a coming out with joy. I'm a coming out with peace. Because my God is on my side. The web, it will entangle you. It's a trap from the devil. The devil don't want you and I to come out here and praise and worship God. You know what he'll do? He'll tie your hands down. You won't be able to raise. He'll tie your feet up where you won't be able to dance for God. I'm going to tell you something. If we're made free in God, we better let the devil know it. If we made free in God, we better start praising God a little bit. If we better listen to the Lord and get in my feet. The Lord get in my hand. And get in my throat, God. And I tell you tonight, everything that we do, that we do unto God, that God honored. But do I have to feel a chill back? But do I say hallelujah? But no, sir. I'm going to tell you that God has delivered us. But we have to praise and worship God. But when we come out to the house of God, the devil's got us tangled up in the wind. And we don't want to turn loose and let God have his way. I'm going to tell you something tonight. I've got a son. He's not here. But I thank God that he answered prayers. This boy, this boy was on drugs so bad uh, that everybody that he hung with, uh, I'm not talking about his everyday friends, uh, and Brother Larry, every single one of them, uh, I don't know how many there was, uh, about six or seven maybe, uh, but every one of them uh, got a hold of some bad drugs, uh, and it took every one of them out. Uh, but you guess what? Uh, and God spared him uh, because uh, he had a mom and a daddy uh, that was a praise and a worship of God, uh, that was a call all these men like a God. Now tell me that we are to praise God. That God is a deliverer. Is he a Christian? No. But I'm going to look a boy. I'm going to come through those doors. I'll be called. But someday he's still a prayer for his soul. The wind. Thank the Lord Almighty God. The wind. Think about it. The wind. Find a spider wave on watching. Do something to them, watch them. In the middle of the summer, get you a fly or something pulling that web and just watch it. As that little bug begins to move, it begins to shake that web. And it'll get that fighter's attention. It'll come out and it'll grab it and uh, take it back into its little hole. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, we better not play around with the devil. Uh, I'm going to tell you, God, uh, he don't want you and I uh, to be like Aaron's two sons. Uh, they offered up strength by the God. Uh, and then God accepted that no sir. Uh, because uh, what the Bible said, uh, what John said, uh, that there's one that's coming after me uh, who will baptize you uh, with the Holy and with fire. And God don't need no fire. Doesn't need fire. He's a fire ready. And my God is a consuming fire. He's a deliverer. And my God is able to deliver. But we gotta start moving. But we will have to let the devil know that God is going to deliver if we'll just keep praising. David. David was a man to God's own heart. The Bible said that he went out on the on the roof, the king's roof, and he looked over and he seen a woman back washing herself. She was a married woman. And the Bible says that David looked upon her and he sent his servants out to get her. They brought her to David. And the Bible said that David laid with her. Now I'm not talking about somebody that was after God's own heart. 
Uh, we you may be good, church. Uh, uh, I feel you feel you when you pinch me. Uh, I see you feel that needle when that doctor gives me a shot. Uh, I ain't got a glorified body, uh, but I'm striving to get there in you. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, we ain't subject to fall, uh, but we don't have to lay down uh, and make a table, uh, and make peace corners. Uh, but Bathsheba and David got together, uh, and when he laid with her, she left and went home, and she sent word back to David. David got him with child. David got in a way. He was in a mess. He was trying every way to get out of this. But he can't get out of it, Brother Jeff. We got to take, we got to have God to help us. I need God to help me every day. And the Bible says that David sent his servant down to, uh, to Joab because uh, uh, this woman's husband, Uriah, was in a battle. Uh, he was to fight no war. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that he sent his servant out uh, and told Joab, said, send me Uriah. Uh, and when Uriah come to David, uh, and David made it out like uh, that he was just going to find out how everything was going. Uh, he asked Uriah, how is uh, uh, Joab doing? Uh, uh, how, uh, how is the people doing? Uh, uh, how's the war proper? Uh, everything was going all right. Uh, but David was in the wind. He was trying to get out of this thing. But listen, and God knows everything, don't he? I tell you, we can't hide nothing from the eyes of God. And God, he sits on the throne, and he's watching you. He's watching you, and he's watching me. So, that's why that we got to stay true to the Word of God. And the Bible said that he laid with her, got her pregnant, and she was going to bring forth a child. And don't dare David got all scared. He said, now I've got to do something. I've got to get out of this way that I'm in. I'm in a mess. What happened to him? He was drawn away by his own words. But we got to watch what we look at. But we got to watch what we hear. I don't want my eyes to cause me to get in a way. The words going to cause me to be lost in this end time. But we are moving by what we see. I'm going to tell you, you think the devil don't try to set something out before you to catch your eyes? He sure does. Your eye come to David. And David asked him all these questions. He said, it all's good. David said, I've got a plan. I know how to get out of this mess. He said, you're right, I want you to go down to your house and wash your feet. But you right, left the king's house. And what did he do? And David sent a mess of meat out. Thought that he was going down to his little house, to where his little wife was. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know that his wife was going to have another child by another man. He didn't have a clue. But one thing about it, he said, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do this thing. But when he left the king's house, but the Bible said that he slept at the king's door because he said that his servant, he said his Lord Joab and all the other servant men, they was out in the field, they was a garden the ark of God in Israel. He said, no, it's not right to himself, no doubt. I can't go down there and be with my wife and with all my other brothers about this battle. But they come and told David, they said, David, you're right. He didn't go down to his house. He straight at the door. But old David said, all right. And now, I've got to do something now. He was getting torn up. And because he got another man's wife pregnant, he was in a mess. And the devil had him in the wind. But I want to tell you something tonight. We better listen to God. We better walk in the spirit. And then we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. You're right. Didn't have a clue what was going on. He didn't know that his wife was going to have a baby by another man. And the Bible says that Uriah, that David told Uriah, said, All right, Uriah, he said, You can tarry here, and tomorrow I'll let you depart. He done had another trick up his sleeve. Oh, this is the work now, I know it will. This will get me out of the way that I'm in. This is right here will work because I've got another plan. And the Bible says that he made, he called Uriah in that evening. And he made a meal for Uriah. And they began to drink. He got Uriah drunk. 
That's what the Bible said. He got him drunk. He thought for sure that you're right. We'll go down to his wife's house now. I've got him drunk. I'm going to, now he'll go. And I'll get out of this mess. I'm going to right. He didn't go down to the to his little wife's house. He stayed up there with the servants of Joab. And the Bible says that that old David began to get a little bit more worried. I can just see David pacing the floor all night, picking out the winter. I wonder when he's going to go down to his own house. He to get off of my steps uh, and go to his own town. Uh, I'm going to tell you something tonight. Uh, that God has given us a place uh, to worship him. Uh, uh, we need to be in the house of God. Uh, every time that the door is open, uh, the devil's going to trap for you. Uh, he's going to entangle you in the wind. Uh, he's going to shut the furry uh, uh, life out of you. Uh, uh, we'll play with somebody. Uh, uh, let's not do it. Uh, he's a master. Uh, he's a master at the wind. Uh, he knows what to do and when to do it. It's how to do it. Come on, amen. But you're right. He stayed there, Brother George. To me, that's one of the saddest stories in the Bible. About Uriah when Nathan come to David. You can read the story. But Uriah wouldn't go down to his wife's house because he loved his brothers. He didn't want to go to Brother George and have the fancy meals and sleep in the luxury of a nice bed and be with his wife and know that his little friends and his little brothers out in the field. A glory in the heart of God. I'm going to tell you, God's got some true soldiers still yet in the army. And we ain't going to let the devil lure us away. And we ain't going to let him cause us to abandon the ship. And we're going to stay on the ship. And we're going to ride out the storm. Because I know a God that's fixing to return back to 24. He can still come in 23. And he ain't over yet. But thank God, if he does, I'm ready to go on you. I can tell this whole world goodbye. Look at old Uriah. He come. And David wrote a letter. And the little fellow didn't have a clue of what was in this letter. And Uriah wrote in the letter. Now, Joab, I want you to put Uriah on the front line. Make sure that he gets killed. See what the devil's doing. And the devil don't have mercy on you. He ain't worried about you. He wants to take your life. He wants to take your victory. But thank God tonight. But we have a God that's going to help us overcome in the world. But we can cling to His Word and be more than a conqueror, can we? Yes. The little fellow didn't have a clue what he had in his back pocket taken down to Joab. Come on, brother. And me and you will. We'd have darted off on the trail, got behind a rock or a tree. I gotta see what's in this thing. You know, maybe if he would have done that, if he could have read, he would have not got killed. He would, they would never lay eyes on him again. He would have run away. I believe that he would have. But he was here before God. And they took him, they put him on the front line. And they sent word to Joe. But David, that he'd been killed. He'd been smit. But David thought all the good things that he had. I'm going for it. That would get him out of the way. But listen, that didn't work. And God is still yet God. He still yet knows. He still yet sees and hears everything. But church tonight, I don't play around with the spider. Because it's full of venom. It's what to get you. It wants to fill you full of poison. I think the Bible tells you and I that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against strength and power against power, against the ruler of darkness of this world. But we wrestle against spirits that's full of deadly poison. Amen. Amen. We can't let the devil get us in the web. No. He wants us in a web. Yes. He don't want us to be free. Thank God tonight I've been made free, ain't you? I tell you, we get ourselves sometimes in a mess because uh, we won't pray about things. Uh, we just jump right in head first uh, and say, I believe I can do it. Uh, we ought to pray about everything that we do. Uh, I'm one of the guilty swans. Uh, we ought to pray about our job. Uh, we ought to pray about uh, going down there. Uh, for your job, Henry, on a vehicle. Uh, we ought to pray about everything. Uh, 
Well, maybe if we did, but we wouldn't be turning the load around. But the devil wants to load us down with burdens. He wants to load us down with the cares of this life. But the thank my God that my vision is the heavenly joy of what a God that we have that delivered us from the wind. Yes, Wind is something that will entangle or trap you. When Pharaoh was pushing the children of Israel through the wilderness, when he come up to them, probably right at the Red Sea, he said the wilderness has got to shut up. He thought that he was going to get them sister trees. He thought that he had them right where he wanted them. But God would let a pillar of fire come down yes. in the night and a pillar of cloud through the day. That will separate the enemy from them. And the Bible says uh, that when the Pharaoh uh, said that, that the wilderness has got them shut in. They are entangled in the wilderness. Uh, that's what the devil taught. Uh, but thank God, uh, on the other side uh, of the cloud, uh, that God will depart the Red Sea. Uh, why? Because uh, the devil said they're shut in. Uh, but they are entangled in the wilderness. Uh, listen, uh, when the devil thinks that he got you, uh, but shut in, uh, and you don't ever think that you can do, uh, get ready. Uh, because God uh, is uh, making a way for you. Oh, Lord, they ain't no way. Oh, my God is real. He can do it. He can part the water today. And he's the same God that brought the children of Israel through the wilderness. The same one that delivered Moses. The same one that delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The same one that brought Daniel out of the lion's den. The devil takes that he's got to shut up. But he ain't big enough to shut us up. He ain't big enough to shut us up here. Is the devil big enough to shut you up? He ain't big enough to shut me up. As long as I can lift my hand, I'm going to raise my hand. As long as I can clap my two hands, I'm going to clap my two hands. The church tonight, we need this revelation of what God is speaking to us tonight. The way it will entangle you. <coughs> It's a trap. Oh. That old spider here, he'll make that web and he'll fix it just right. And he'll get in that place and he'll hide. He'll lay back for days and days until he gets what he wants. Yes. The devil is watching us. He's on our trail every day, ain't he? Yes. He's on our trail. He's trying some way or another to trap you and I. That's why that we gotta be led of the Spirit of God. That's why that we gotta pray every day and seek the face of God. That's why that we gotta be in the house of God. And to get a word that we can stand against the wiles of the devil. And listen to me. I can tell you something tonight that God will God will back up with his word. Brother Larry, I begin to think you know how sometimes you can go out and my wife. Uh, here not very long ago, poor God, Bill Cone, uh, we had a spider web uh, that was on the side of the house. Uh, and it would, uh, you would go out there and you, you could see that thing uh, sitting right at the hole, Brother George. Uh, and when it seen us, it would dart back in behind uh, the shutter. Uh, but you know what I had to do? Uh, I went out there and I took a broom and I tore that web down. Uh, and just a few days later, I looked, uh, and there it was again. Uh, I said, that spider uh, has got away. Uh, I've got to get rid of that spider. Uh, and you know what we got to do uh, before uh, we can get made free? Uh, we got to turn down the web. Uh, and don't stop there. Uh, and keep it going. Uh, and get rid of the spider. Uh, and when you can get rid of the devil, uh, you can go somewhere with God. Uh, but we'll turn down the web. Uh, and the spiders will build it right back. We got to kill the spider. Yes. Amen. We got to kill the spider. Yes. Before the wave will disappear, we got to kill the spider. I was back in the day, how that, how that our young people look what kind of mess they're in. Uh -huh. A church house is set back to the kids. Pastor right. Larry, our kids is not in the house of God like it used to be. How many can remember back in the 70s and early 80s how the, the children would be with their parents, the house would be plumb full of kids. Today, if I could get one of them to go to church, 
Why? Because uh, they got this little thing now. They entertain you. Uh, and I can tell you something now. Uh, I can back this up. Uh, what do they say? Uh, what do they say to you? Uh, when you go online again, uh, to look for something. Uh, what does it say? Uh, it says, these of me were. Where does it say that these of me had? Uh, on the way to uh, God. That's where he's got. Uh, he's got our young people uh, uh, on the way. Uh, we wonder why. Uh, that little bill is mean like he is. Uh, it's because Oh, we give him something to get him out of the way. He's in the way. That man was not even looking at things that he shouldn't be looking at. He know we got a little bit. He's got the biggest majority of the saints of God on this thing. We better watch what kind of way inside. But we're being done. But we on this thing. And then what we're seeing is a soothing to our flesh. But we need to get rid of the wind. But we got to get rid of the spider. But the poor little bit of ever. But that's what the Bible says. Well, you got to give way and rid of the spider. Of what are you talking about? I take it to church. I let him put that thing down for a couple of hours. I hear the word of God. I drive up and down the highway. And you'll see. I hear the Lord. I'm trying to die. I text all the same time. I tell me that you know where. And that it was done. I locked up time. Where they came in the folks on the highway. Amen. Amen. Good preaching. Well, buddy goes up and down the road, and you'll be a follower them, and they'll be like kids. Come on. All over the road. Ooh. One place to the other place. I said, I want you to watch yonder. Come on. And I'll end up running over top of somebody kill them because they're addicted. They're in the way. The devil's got them so locked up in this thing. And when you go around, uh, here they are, uh, holding her head down, trying to drive. Uh, I'm going to tell you it's a shame. Uh, I'm not ever praying. Uh, I'm going to drive from here to Tavisville anymore. Uh, oh, why? Because uh, uh, there's so much of this on the highway. Uh, it's a wiping out uh, of the children. Uh, it's a wiping out of grandma and grandpa. Uh, it's on their own self. Uh, I'm going to tell you tonight, uh, oh, we better watch uh, oh, what kind of spirit uh, that we are entertaining. Uh, because the devil... Uh, he wants to get you in the way of where you can't be free and to go out to the house of God. Amen. 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 Hey, Devil, right? Amen. Am I preaching something right? Yes. I'm going to tell you what we're in right now. They say check us out on the web. That's what it is, a web. If the devil can get us interested in that, he knows we ain't going to open up this thing. That's not going to work. I'm telling you what we better do. We better throw that thing down. We better get her word. We better place it under her knees. We better begin to cry to God. God, help me. Let me have a word. That will help me be made free from this stuff that we're dealing with today. Forty years ago, you didn't have this stuff. I often say, if my grandpa would come back today, he died when I was five months old. He'd been dead 62 years. If he could come back today, I wonder what he would think. <coughs> I wonder what he would think if he just walked up and down the little hollow that used to be just a few houses here. Now it's house after house. All the cornfields just grown up. There ain't no cornfields no more. And now all you see is all this high technology today. Hey, what do you want to come back? I can promise you they probably wouldn't want to even come back to this place because it's a different world. It's a different environment. We're fighting devils now that was not released in the 80s and 70s. We're fighting devils now that were. They want to put a, put a fancy name over top of everything. They want to put a fancy name, Brother Jeff, over a, a demon to chant somebody. That you look at the day and they're happy in the morning. They're ready to, to take a gun and blow your brains out. They say it's bipolar. It ain't bipolar. It ain't but a spirit out of hell. It's a way. They're in a way. And they need delivered. But the watch of church are going. But we're going to go to church. And we're sitting back in time. They say, Let me if you can, preacher. Now listen, I'm not trying to move you. If the Holy Ghost can't move you, well, you ain't going to be moved. But we better shake our chip and get out of the way. We better get out of this way we're in. Yes. I'm going to tell you, we'll find spirits, church. 
If the devil can get us wrapped up so tight to where we won't praise and worship God, and when we come to the house, he's going to sit back and laugh. Oh, they ain't going to get nothing. Are they going to go home tonight? In the same way that they come in, I'm going to tell you, that God's still here to heal. He's still here to deliver. He's still here to save. But we, we've got to move when the Holy Ghost moves. And we want everybody else to get the fire going. And then we'll wrap up and say, how warm it is. Well, listen, we've all got a part to do. How many believe that you've got a part to do? I've got a part to do. Yes. Lord, I don't want you to pack all the wood. I don't want you to have to do all the hard work. And I run up and say, boy, ain't that a good fire we're standing by the night. But we all can do something. How many believe that we all can do something? That's what we got to come in unity. And then we can see God move and deliver. Our children is wrapped in the web. And it's going to take something to get them loose. And I'm going to tell you, the honey this and honey that ain't going to cut it. It's going to take the word of God. Oh, what does set the word of God? He said, if you'll come out of her, a people and touch not the unclean thing, but then I will receive you. And that's what the Bible said. But we don't want to do that because it's too good to the flesh. And we want to please the flesh too much. And it ain't helping us. It's a drag us down. It's a getting us in a web where we can't even move. <laughs> that old cricket can't move in that web that's wrapped around him tight. He cannot move. He cannot get the free. First thing you know, he's gone. Because his spine, we've got him wrapped up to the top of the door, and drug him back in his hole. Yes. And now he's going to lay a feast tonight. I wonder how many times the devil is a trying to bring me and you up, and drag us away from the house of God to where we can't be, where we can't be here with the Word of God. Amen. You know why so many people are, are bound the way that they are? It's because they won't go to the house of God and get the word that they need to find the devil with. We want somebody to tell us. We want somebody to send it to us on this thing, don't we? Don't get me wrong, it's good. It's good to have that. But listen, I can't feel the heat like I can. If I'm saying now to you, I've got to get where the heat is. I've got to get where action is. The Bible of the line. He's a big God. He's got a lot of people. I'm going to tell you tonight. But we better get ourselves stirred. But we better shake ourselves. And say, God, help me out of this. The way that I'm in. We all get in. But we can be made free from the two. You get wrapped up in so much stuff that we'll forget about God. Amen. Yes, I've been wrapped up. Hey, sometimes I don't read my Bible like I need to. But I meditate on it. Sometimes I read so much that I lose everything that I read. But Brother Larry, I thank God tonight that I've been made free by the blood of Jesus. I thank God that I've been filled with the Holy Ghost. I shall delete and guide me in the dark of my life. But when I'm walking in darkness, that way where I can see. And guess what? That's where the Holy Ghost that kicks in and begins to lead me. It'll lead you right around that thing. That's why it's so important that we've got to have the Holy Ghost. I'm not talking about the real one. I ain't talking about one that just does whatever he wants to do. I'm going to talk about one that will go like the Bible says. That's the one I want, don't you? I begin to thank God. But sometimes that old spider, you know what he'll do. He'll build him a way. Brother Lawrence, some of them get so close to the light that he ain't funny. Why would he get so close to the light? It's because they knew light. The light will trash things. What trash you and I? The real spirit of God. That they will hear. The Bible said that there's a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way to death, don't we? But thank God tonight that we are led by the Spirit of God. How many sons do we have in the house tonight? I'm a son. How do I know? Because I love His Word. I want His Word. I'm addicted to the Word of God. Yes. My son told me, he said, Dad, I don't want to be like his. I don't want to be the way I am. Yeah. Brother George, you would cry and say, I don't want to be like this. 
I can't help it. He was in the wind. But thank God, prayer delivered him. And God is a moving in. We might think if God endured something for us, that he ain't moving. And God's a moving in. He said, I will use whosoever will let him. I'm going to tell you, a church and I, we serve a God that's alive. He ain't a dead God. He's not in the tomb. But thank God we are the children. <laughs> now I'm gonna give you some icing on the cake. If this don't excite you, if this don't excite you, right here's the number. That's what we need to get our joy back. When Jesus was hanging on the cross at Calvary, when he was hanging on the cross at Calvary. Well, the Lord, the Bible says and that when he, right when he had died, he bowed his head. And the Bible said that he gave up the coast. That's what the Bible says. And the Bible said that the veil was rented from top to bottom. What was that? That's when God tore down the wind. He took down the wind. But I thank God that he didn't stop there. And you know what he done? But the third day, that he come out of the tomb. But what did he do? And you know what he done? He killed the spider. I'm going to tell you something. We go right for this heaven. He said, it's not over, devil. He went into hell, and he got the key. And the third day, he come out of that place. And what did he do? Oh, yes, where is that thing? Oh, sir, what's up? Great, where is that victory? He, uh, he killed the spider on the third day. Thank God. And we serve a God and that's not dead. If that don't excite you, and you can't be excited. But we want to be a praising and worship of God. What a God. He killed the spider. He killed the spider. He killed the devil on the third day. He took the key to death and hell. So right now the devil's hand. And he just said, the devil, devil. Never, never, tell me what you got. I got the key. I mean, you got the key. I got the key, don't you? Oh, for my victory. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. There's victory in Jesus. There's power in Jesus. I'm not down no more. I've been made free. God tore down the wind. He tore down the wind. And thank him for killing the spider. And then I don't have to bow down but to the devil no more. And my God is on the throne. And he's coming back for a people. But let's make ourselves ready. Are you ready tonight? How many is ready? I'm going to tell you. I want we have a little bit of church. Do you have to feel God? I know you don't have to feel God to praise him. Pastor, I don't have to feel God to praise him. But to you. But I'm going to tell you, if you begin to praise him, I can promise you, but try me, I'm going to prophesy to you. If you begin to praise him, he begin to bless you, he begin to do things in your life that you will never believe up. Come on, man. He's God. He's a God of life. He's a God that will save us and heal us. I'm free. Help me sweet. I'm free in you. I'm free in you. I can raise my hand. I can raise my voice. I can jump up and down. I can kill the devil. And he's defeated. He's defeated a coward. But first and I, I'm going to tell you, he tore down the wind on the third day. He killed a spider. Do you have that? Tonight, let somebody get a snort. And let's worship God. And let's see how many is really free tonight. But we're going to see how many is free. If you ain't free by him to honor, come and get us. And we are carved away in our buddy. But where you can worship and praise God. Amen. I never act like this before. 
That's what we need to do. We need to throw a crazy spell on the devil. We just need to let him know that when you get to talking about Jesus, you're talking about my father. But you get me stirred up. But when you talk about the word of the Bible's and the ravens don't excite me. But they give me somebody. That's the anointing. That's the preach of the Holy Ghost Word. That's what gets me excited. That's what causes me to be fired up. A church tonight. If we ain't fired up, we need to get fired up. I don't have to have pastors call me every day to fire me up. I don't have to have you, Brother Josh, call me every day. You don't have to have me. I've got my own walk with God, don't you? I know what he wants me to do. I know I've been made free by the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and say, if you don't, I will keep it going. You better get started because this thing is a raging in me. I feel love tonight. I feel a great anointing in this place. I feel deliverance in this place. I feel victory in this place. I feel healing. I feel joy. I feel peace. I feel God moving, don't you? I saw you.
enjoy the word.
We greatly appreciate all of you here. And we'll just get really we'll just get warmed up. Amen. We hope everybody can hold out to the second part. So we'll uh, find someone to say the blessing over the